Hey everyone, it is time for August 2024 um, cards that we made in class for this month. And so I didn't want you to miss out on it. And I wanted you to see the fun that we had. So um, we used a variety of product. I'm having so much fun um, with Stampin' Up! And there's just so many things to play with. It's hard for me to get in a lane and narrow it down. And so um, we played a little bit of this and that. And so there's no real theme to this one. But um, let's get started and let's have some fun. So um, I started, I, I absolutely love this uh, stamp set. Um, and it had some great sayings. I'm a glitter girl, so, you know, the glitter always gets me. Um, but you could use any birthday sentiment. And um, so I have a piece of cardstock here that is 11 by 4 and a quarter. And it's scored on each. You're going to score it 2 and 3 quarters. And then you're going to rotate and do two and three quarters, okay? And so then you're just going to fold it in those creases. And they kind of match, meet. That's mainly what you want to do. And um, then you have, let me get all my little pieces here so you can see everything. So you'll have two pieces of white um, that are four by two and a half. And so they would go here. These are my practice ones when my embossing machine was not set correctly. So that's the that. Then you have another piece of cardstock, which is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then this is Countryside Inn, which happens to be right now in August, happens to be this one of the special papers that are 15% uh, off. And so this is a three by four. So you know where that's going. It's going right on top. And then you have a little piece that is one, just shy of one and three quarters and two, and then a little piece of white that goes like this. And so let me, and you have an extra strip, but let me show you what the finished card looks like. So this is how the finished card looks like. And I use the new uh, Pecan Pie and Clear uh, gems here they have like a little ribbon look to them and so it flips up like this and that's where that little strip would go just so now you can do the darker if you like the darker but just so you have somewhere to send a little thought so just a little bit of fun playing with uh, that new countryside in paper and some white um, I thought it I wasn't ready to do all dark, so I used some paper um, to give it that creative flow. So, super easy, super fun. So, there's the first card. Okay, so that one's good. So, let's look at the next one. And so, open up a package here. So, of course, you have your card base and this is just a piece of sapphire um, if you didn't have close to my heart colors and you only had Stampin' Up! colors then um, uh, their one is not Misty Moonlight Night of Navy Night of Navy would be their color choice there and then again this is Countryside Inn and you could do this side you could do this side but for my purposes, I'm going to do this side. And 
you just kind of want to, it's going to be hard to do on that card front. Um, you just kind of want to center it as best you can. It's going to have a little edge there. And then um, I took that uh, the new, one of the new embossing folders I've talked about before. Let me show you. It's this one. It's called Eyelet 3D Embossing Folder. And you can always find the number right here. So 163414. And I just did two strips and they are one by fours. So they're going to go like that. And like that. Voila. And then I played like I told you, I have lots of, I'm just having so much fun with all these dies and stuff. So this one is Countryside Corners die. So see, it all goes in with that countryside theme. And I used, um, mm, yes, I used the, not the smallest, but the next one in and the next one. And I did this type of look. Okay, so of course you know where that, oops, wait, we have a piece of vellum that's going to go there, and then that, and then um, the, the Flowers of Beauty die, I mean this is a genius to me, I've talked about it before, where they do a whole a die full of flowers, so you have larger and then you have a little bit smaller. And so you get, rather than having to cut them singly, you get this whole thing of colored flowers. And so let me show you how that looks when it's all decorated. And I just used some fun um, yellow flowers just to make it cheery and used some pearls from my stash. Um, and I did do a little dovetail on the vellum just to uh, not be so blunt edge, as you can see here. I like the little detail. But a fun and easy, oh, I should have said, I also took this and stamped in second generation. Um, so that means that you stamp it in your ink, stamp it on scratch paper, and then put it on your cardstock. So you get a softer look of the color theme you're going already, okay? And so then I just accented with the flowers. And what's cool about this is I did, did one in um, a darker color and one in a lighter color. So you have that to look to it. Okay, so that's our second card. Whoop, whoop. We're moving right along. I'm just going to put these there before I forget. Okay, so let's talk and see what's in our third card packet here. So we know I already see some ribbon, and I know I need to show you this amazing die, and I want you to see it up close and personal. And why isn't it in my drawer? Because it's laying somewhere on my crazy table. Here we go. So this is Magnolia Mood. This is one I, I know I shared with a few of you that I couldn't wait to play with. Um, this is a cling stamp and this beautiful, awesome die. And so you can get this as a bundle or you can get them just the dies alone if you're not interested. But there's just such a beauty and I absolutely love the font. So I took and I cut that die, this die here, out of white um, cardstock. And I wanted to show you, I'm just going to grab. I know you can do it on here, but for purposes so you can really see it pop. I'm just going to um, 
blend some colors and actually there might be enough blue on here I like a little softer look um, you can definitely if you get heavy-handed you could do um, a darker look but it's strictly up to what you want to do and what really what I really loved about this die is it takes on a life of its own depending on what you're going to use it for. So if you're going to use it, say you're using it for a wedding card, then you could make it personal by using their wedding colors. Or maybe um, you want to do it as a sympathy card. Then you could be a little softer even in your color choice. I mean... When you do it with white cardstock, when you create with this white cardstock, you it becomes something totally different and so exciting. Now, my Seabrook is very, very. It's gonna hard. It's gonna be hard to see this, um, but I think you can see some color. My pad is. Um, on its last leg I should say maybe it's the brush I don't know but um, and I'm just I'm just rubbing some color on it just to have just a softer sagey blue green and I'm just going to take and take this blue and rub on that little rosebud and then I think you can kind of see when I lift this up, you can see how these are still white and this is green. And so just adding just a soft hint of color, okay? And you want to be careful about getting too heavy handed. Um, in how you do that you you just want it you want to take it pretty easy it's easier to add color than take color away and then um, I'm just going to I have a little puddle I'm gonna hope I can rehydrate oh yep it's good and I wanted it to have some sparkle so I am just just softly adding some shimmer, not much. Um, just, just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. You know me, I'm a glitter girl. I want some, I like some bling on it. And I know it's hard for you guys, and maybe you don't know this trick, but to pour a little bit on a, a smaller block and then you can paint you have a little bit more control and you don't get that blob but I don't know if you can see this but let me show you one um, oh here it is no nope, not that one either where did it go oh right here So you can see one that really has glitter that's dried. Looks like I need to, but you get the gist of it. You get that soft variegated. Maybe if I pick this up, you can see that. And I can see already that this did not get very much blue. So I'm adding a little more pressure to that. And I'm going to grab, I know there's enough res, residual just to add a little bit more shimmer to this. And just to give it 
that little bit of pop of color. So, um, so we've done the little prep work on that. Now you don't have to, you could do this and just leave it white. That would be gorgeous too. So then I have um, a four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I have a three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of white that is three and a half. Wait a minute, this one is, this is five by three and three quarters. This is four. No, it says five and three quarters. Oh, three and a half. This is three and a half by three and three quarters, okay? But let me show you what I did with that piece. I I used the exposed brick embossing folder and so you get this nice little texture that adds texture to this card so you have some fun looks to it. Okay, so and then you have a little piece of blue which goes here and you have some leaves and those are going to be hard to see on that green. They're done in, they're part of that die cut of that. And then so you can see the finished product that is is what it looks like so you get a little ribbon that goes here this little happy birthday i used the um, happy little dies it's two little banner cut dies that are for tiny um, the happy birthday comes from the birdhouse kit it was the right size um, but i thought this um, when you add it to the front of a card you just get that really nice elegant little birthday card sympathy card congratulations card I mean it could be anything you want it to be so I thought it had um, some little wow moments in it um, and I thought it was fun to uh, just pop, use that pop of color excuse me, use that pop of color to create and make it um, a little bit more personal and a little bit more of the, the person that you're sending it to. Excuse me, got the sneezes. <laughs> you know, it gives them a, a personal touch to it. So anyway, I hope you like that card. That is our third card. And so we should have one more card left. Now let's see if I can find one with all the right pieces in it. So um, we've talked about that, um, this bundle before. This is the... Um, uh, la -la 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 -la. This is the Spotlight in Nature, um, and it's a clean set, stamp set, which I absolutely love. And then, I always forget the name of this one, Spotlight in Nature Dies. And you get, actually get 12 dies. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six. And so they're different designs for the sizes so I thought that was that's a win-win this is just this die just gives that little added pop to whatever and so this is a, a 
top fold card, which we haven't done that in a long time. And it's four and a quarter by 11 and just scored at the five and a half mark. Then a piece, piece of pattern paper. So this is four by five and a quarter. And you can do this side with the little butterflies. Or if you want to make it really summery, you could use the red check. And then two strips of green, one being one inch and one being three quarters of an inch. And you're just going to put the dark side and the light side together. So like that. And you have this and I am missing, oh here it is. There's a little ribbon like this that can tuck between these two. And voila, like that, something like that. And you get this version of that card. So and then just added some fun sparkles to it. Um, it was a great, um, fun, easy card. Um, just colored up using the spotlight in nature items and I absolutely I was not thrilled I will honestly say I was not thrilled about a cling size stamp until I stamped with it and realized how much you can um, detail that you can get when you're stamping with that especially for coloring so it's really cool and then those that attended the class in person got to create um this was their added bonus card this was um i thought it was never too early to uh, start getting some christmas cards in our stash and so um again i use that embossing folder some uh scarlet use the iconic celebration papers and uh used some, I used an, a different, oh, I used this die. The stylish shape dies. So I used the circles, did three circles. Um, this is a great die. You have your, your squares, you have banner cuts, and, um, You'll get a single if you, but if you use, if your paper's the right size, you could even have a double. It's just amazing. It's a fun die. Like I said, I am loving all these little dies that give you all this added bonus. So let's put the four cards that were part of class. And that is your card class for August. So hopefully you uh, had fun and can get out there, create. If you make a pattern that I used, show us. There might even be a little surprise in your mail if you share your artwork and your creativity with us. Because everyone likes to uh, see what other people do because maybe they didn't think about that color or maybe they didn't think about putting the paper that way. So. Have fun, ladies. Create. The August host code is right there if you need it. Um, and I look forward to playing with you in the near future. Bye now.